Hello, um, I'm just about to do a, a small review of Kuhn's uh, Ingrid 10x10 log carbon, you can see here. Um, we bought it a couple of months ago and i um, just going to be doing a, a wee review now. Uh, 10 by 10 it doesn't have to be in a big space, we don't have a very big garden, uh, about 30 by 30 um, The slabs that we used are um, 2 by 2s, so 5 by 5, so 25 slabs, levelled it off, make sure it's level before you do it. Uh, we also got a couple of extras with the, the kit. We went for a composite base, which is a plastic base that goes down. That's a little bit off cut that's there. Um, it's really good because um, you don't get rot at the bottom, uh, you know, like you would do with um, wooden um, bases. Uh, so you can build on top of that. The water runs off it because it's profiled as well. Really good. Uh, well worth the extra. We also paid for um, the floating lot 4 and um, shingles, but the shingles were an offer and they got them free and they are superb. They really are good. Um, take a bit of time in putting them on. Uh, I used a bit of the adhesive as well around the edges so they don't get any lifting. Uh, you can opt for guttering, but um, we didn't bother with the guttering because we are surrounded by trees and uh, it would be a problem in the autumn and winter with leaves falling and blocking the bottom. Um, the timbers are really good. The quality is uh, superb. It's really quite uh, thick, as you can see. Uh, the slot together, uh, tongue and groove, really easy to put together. Uh, for me, it was a five-day job, but I really took my time uh, to make sure it was all done correctly. Uh, that includes the roof, that includes painting inside and outside. Because um, it's not that hard a job to do. Uh, it is a bit awkward if you've got a lot of um, narrowness at the back and side, if you're going up against a wall or a fence, uh, or in our case, a garden, so you don't want to trample down any of your plants. Uh, like I say, joists are really good, the, wa the quality of the wood is really good. It's unfinished, we got unfinished wood, so it was finished it in a coup and all colour. Um, glass glazing, really well done. The windows and doors and uh, the security in the doors, you get the uh, locks um, and keys. And I think you get three keys with it. It's really good so you can lock it up in the winter if you're not using it, but we will be using it all winter. Um, we also uh, decided on um, getting the electricity fitted, so we had a, an electrician come and fit external glands, armoured cable, one on this side, one on the other side, so there's no uh, conduit running inside, so they're totally waterproof, uh, IP, whatever they are, um, so no ingress of water, uh, top and bottom. Really good, uh, very... Um, very easy for a, a spark to install and it makes a, a cracking job inside as well. Um, the roof shingles, I will say, are superb quality. I think they come with a 15 year guarantee with them uh, and they are really thick and real quality stuff. Um, just take your time in doing it. There is no rush, that's the thing. Um, like I say, it, you could rattle it up in a weekend with a couple of you, including painting, but you know, I did it quite honest. I just took my time and did it. Also, put some uh, vents in, so maybe you'll just see it there. Uh, one high, so this is the overhang in the door. So I've got uh, a high vent and um, a low vent, so obviously, we're going to use it in the winter, so um, we'll be in and out of it. So it's just to stop any problems with um, stay layer and do the usual kind of things, you get this sort of mildew build up in sort of closed areas so that dumps so you don't really have that. Well, got a wee heater inside just to sort of take the chill out of there. And really that's it. It is easy to go up, it is easy to work on. The only problem I would say is the instructions aren't very good, but, but um, they are good enough 
and the best part is you can go online to the Tune website and they will show you the videos, how to video, see how to lay the floor, how to put the profile and floor in, how to do the roofing, how to uh, build up your um, carbon, how to insert your windows, you know, as long as you've got a, a basic um, joinery skills or any kind of, uh, um, even mechanical skills, it, it's, it's not hard to do. So that's it, the chewing in good 10 by 10 log carbon, well worth the money, uh, well, well worth the money, um, I would say it would be a good thousand pounds cheaper uh, than anywhere else, including getting extra. So, thank you very much. This part of the video is for the girls who wonder how you can decorate the hut inside. Um, I wanted a beach theme for the hut. And I did worry that the 10 by 10 wouldn't be big enough for what I needed. But as you can see, we've got a corner sofa, rattan sofa inside. We've got a small boat bookcase and we use that to actually study inside the hut. I've got a lot of study materials. There's a wine rack there, which as you can see is empty at the minute. Because we've had so much fun in the hut. We've got a small oil-filled radiator, um, which we have occasionally used, but to be quite honest, the hut has very good heat properties um, and keeps warm really well. Um, we've got another small rat and stool, and as you can see, my husband varnished the floor. Could probably benefit from another coat before the winter's out, but it's really very robust, the floor. Um, the windows, if you're wondering what the windows are like to decorate, um, I just used some material, some cheap material and made my own curtains and I'll try and get in closer to let you see this, but there's actually a button, if I unpeel it like this you'll get to see that I actually just velcroed across the windows and then put some velcro in the back and I made my own blinds and then we just rolled them up so that I could get a sort of beach hut deck chair sort of sail feel. Um, we painted inside the hut white and I'll let you see we had some electricity put into the hut and I'll let you see the oil filled radiator sits in the corner and we've got one point here, one double point here and another double point in the far away corner. I'll just go right round and I'll try and capture the ceiling for you. I'm 5 foot 7 and as you can see I'm nowhere near the ceiling. If you wanted to you could put a light in the middle of the ceiling. It would be really pretty but we decided we wanted very basic minimal lighting. Um, back wall's a bit bare at the minute. We're still having a debate as to what to put there. There's the... As you can see there's plenty of room for our dog Poppy, she's a chocolate lab, just so that you can see there's, there's a reasonable sized dog. Again I'll let you see the windows, and just to let you see this as well, this is, I've had the doors open, I don't know, I'll try and close in on this, I've had the doors open in the hut all day today, and as you can see it's still nearly at 20 degrees Celsius in here. That's the view in our garden. And I've got the double doors open just now. Really pretty, looking out in the garden. And um, we just love it in here, absolutely love it. I'll show you that there's a fantastic ledge above the door. You could put, again, a light in there. Um, you could have it for storage space. Um, you could put anything you want in there, really. Um, it's a really good size storage space. We just haven't put anything in there yet. We've been in the hut when it's absolutely pelting it down with rain outside and it's very cosy and warm and a fantastic place to be in a miserable wet cold day. Um, I thoroughly recommend this hut. I did, as I say, at the beginning have concerns about what would be able to get inside it but we've really not been disappointed.